<clears throat> um, good evening. My name is Julia Lopez, and today I will be discussing my video analysis on my two favorite pieces. Um, to start off, I just want to say um, this assignment was very fun because, you know, I was able to have a good reason to visit the Broad Museum. The Broad Museum has a wide selection of art of all kinds, sculptures, paintings, dioramas, just so many artistic paintings and works. And right here are just two pictures of um, me visiting the Broad. These are two different paintings that I really loved. However, um, these are not the ones I will be analyzing. I just wanted to share these two pictures of some of the works that I really enjoyed. Um, the first, the first work of art that I will be um, analyzing is by Takashi Murakami, and it is called Flower Matango. This whole masterpiece was created during the years 2000 to 2006. Um, Takashi Murakami used a variety of different colors, textures, shapes for this specific piece. When I tell you when I seen this piece, I just jaw dropped, basically. Um, I loved all of the colors, all of the sequence and patterns of the flowers. And it was just so detailed and vibrant. I took this photo by the way, but nothing compares to how beautiful this piece was in real life. Um, some, of the, some of the emotions and qualities that derive from this piece um, to me translated into nostalgia and vibrance. Um, even looking at this picture now, I can even get a sense of symphony and even like music, if that makes any sense. It is a very musical and artistic piece for which I believe that it is a great representation of the art circa of 2000s. The 2000s was a very vibrant, fun, and unique era. This era was so unique because it was unique and important and extremely monumental because it was the, the arising of technological advancements in the media and social media. The emergence of the internet, social media, technology. When I see this sculpture, it just reminds me of, um, predominantly it reminds me of TMZ and just music and vibrance and videos and just all these cultural aspects. And this really reflects what the culture was and this versatility during that era. Um, emphasizing the nostalgia of this piece, um, it reminds me of early music videos, of MySpace era, and just people's full-time creativity during this time. Um, the dimensions on this piece are approximately 157 and a half by 118 by 98 and a half inches, which is extremely big. And the materials that consisted of this were fiberglass, resin, oil paint, and liqueur and iron. Um, all of these materials are extremely, extremely durable. And just even looking at this, at this piece, you can see how every single flower was placed meticulously and just overall a beautiful piece. 
beautiful, beautiful. Um, the second work of art that I will be discussing is The Kiss by Andy Warhol. This is a screen print also at the museum. This also is my picture right here on the left. I took this photo. Um, this photo resonated a lot with me and I just really loved the sensuality, the passion, um, the elements of this of the screen print of dark and light and foreshadow and just highlighting and contrasting these two protagonists in this piece. Um, here we are we are sh we are shown feminine and masculine energies. And also um, this really reminded me of comic book era of the damsel in distress and um, you know the masculine energy, the two polarities. Um, um, furthermore, um, these this this specific print really made me um, connect to the, um, the yin and yang symbol, the dark and the light, the woman symbolizing the light and the man symbolizing the darkness and how both together um, can really um, properly demonstrate their beautiful differences, but however, how they make them one. Um, I believe that this painting on the contrast also symbolizes some dramaticism and melancholy from their expressions on their face and can really tell and really just leave it up to the to the interpreter to decide what exactly if it was a passionful moment or if it was like um a very toxic love kind of interpretation I really love Andy Warhol's work. And while visiting the broad, um, I, I was able to see a lot of different pieces by him that I really, really enjoyed. Um, so to wrap it up, this was my video analysis. Um, I really appreciated both of these artists for their complex differences, yet with their immense symbolism for these time eras that they were representing. Um, thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.